Hi everybody, I'm Steve Berry with Green Mountain Pellet Grills. So, you got yourself a new Davy Crockett. I'm impressed. Not only are you going to experience some of the best food you've ever made, you're going to have a whole lot of fun doing it. But first, we've got to put this thing together. This short video should help you, and we'll have you grilling in no time. First thing you do, open the box. It sounds simple, but some people have not done that and tried to grill with the grill inside the box. Inside, you're going to find a lot of styrofoam. Take that off the top. Boom, there's the grill. Pull it out, set it down. Remove the plastic. And there it is. Oh yeah, Merry Christmas, baby. And every Davy Crockett comes with a beautiful heavy gauge stainless steel lid standard. You might say, hey, that's a strange place for a handle. It's okay, we'll turn that around in just a second. The guts inside, easy to take out. We'll be reinstalling them in just a second. Next thing, lift the grill into place. The legs automatically lock. Make sure they get into the lock position. And your grill is stable and ready to go. Next, open the hopper. Inside, you'll find a beautiful stainless steel grease bucket. Inside that, you've got your Wi-Fi antenna, your meat probe, and a starter bag of pellets. Also in the hopper, a very informative instruction manual. The first part of your real installation of your new Davy Crockett pellet grill is installing the chimney. And Green Mountain provides you with all the tools you need to get the job done. And when you're traveling, just loosen the bolts, turn the chimney, and you've got a much more compact piece of equipment. Having the handle on the inside of the grill is a great way to ship it, but it's not a very good way to use it. It's inconvenient, and it gets awfully hot. So right now you want to turn the handle around and put it on the front side of the grill lid. And remember, when reinstalling the handle, make sure the heat shield washers are on each side of the grill lid. That'll keep your handle from getting too hot. Tighten it up, and it's on to the next step. Okay, you still with me? Next up, attach the grease bucket, followed by the convenient side tray. Easy peasy. Next step, you're going to install the Wi-Fi antenna. Now, plug in the meat probe. Eventually, it's going to go into what we call officially the meat probe hole. What's great about the Davy Crockett is that there are three ways to get power to the unit. First of all, a simple 110 AC DC, plug it right into your wall. Second, you can plug it into your cigarette lighter, or what used to be called a cigarette lighter. Now they're called phone chargers. And the third way, connected to a car battery. Remember, polarity is an issue, so red on red, black on black. Remember, we're cooking the food, not you. All right, once you've picked your power source, it's time to plug it into the unit, locate it conveniently and behind the hopper. What's wrong with this picture? Anybody? Bueller? Bueller? Chimney's gotta be open before we start to grill. Now, with the grill in the off position, it's time to fill the hopper with pellets. I recommend the Green Mountain Grill Gourmet Blend. Oh, it's delicious with oak, hickory, mesquite, mm, mm, mm. Open the top. This one features a handy resealable bag. Pour the contents into the hopper. Next, you want to prime this. Again, this is a new grill, so we need to let it know that we're ready to start cooking. First thing, push the power button. That's going to put it to the zero. 
At this point, the auger is starting to feed pellets into the firebox. Remember, since this is a new grill, you only need to do this once, or if you happen to run out of pellets. When the digital control board shows one, you can do one of two things. You can either take the bag of starter pellets and put it into the firebox, or you can unplug the unit, plug it back in, and resequence it one more time. That way the grill knows that you've got the pellets where they need to be in order to start grilling. Once you see the auger start to spit out the pellets, you know that your grill is primed. Next step, unplug the grill and plug it back in to start the sequence again. All right, let's put the guts in this thing. First thing you want to install is the heat shield. Big opening to the left, and notice that we've got grooves cut in there. That allows you to shift it left or right inside, depending on whether you want a hotter right or left side inside the grill. Next up, the grease tray. Make sure the half moon is to the left. And that the tray sits inside the grooves and angles down to the right. Now you want to install the upper grease tray. At this point, make sure the upper grease tray covers the hole of the lower grease tray. The only time you want to have them open is if you're cooking at 350 degrees or more. And now to complete the installation, install the grates. Let's get this thing cooking. To get this thing ready to cook, push the power button one more time. Now it's going to go through a series of numbers and eventually it's going to show you the ambient temperature. Your first reading could be the temperature outside. But eventually, it's going to set at approximately 150, again, maybe higher. But once it does hit 150, you're ready to set the temperature to exactly what you want it to be to cook your first meal. Folks, that's all there is to it. You're ready to go. The hard part's done. Remember, you have to do that just one time. Now you can sit back, get a cold drink, set the temperature to what you want, throw on what you want, and get ready to enjoy food like you've never tasted it before. It's Green Mountain Grill pellet wood technology. Experience it for yourself. To find out what kind of foods you can prepare, go to our website, greenmountaingrills.com, or check out our blog site, blog.greenmountaingrills.com. You're going to love it.